With Verizon MDM, we have annual maintenance that must be done with the Apple Business Manager server and tokens within the Verizon MDM. To see this, first we'll log in to the Verizon MDM. Once at the main dashboard on the Getting Started panel, we'll go down to Apple. Here we'll see the three tokens that need to be updated annually. You should receive an email one month prior before the expiration date. And as always, when you log in, you can see this. First, we will start with the apps and books token at the bottom. To update this, we'll go to manage under Apple, then apps and books settings. Once loaded, we'll go log into our Apple business manager, go down to settings, and then apps and books. We will then download the file on the bottom right hand side. Go back to Verizon MDM once it is down downloaded. Choose a file. Upload said file we just downloaded and then upload that token. The expiration date should change to be one month from now. As you can see now it says your token expires on Thursday, October 6, 2022. Next, we will go to Manage under Apple ABM MDM Server. Once it is loaded, we will click on the Verizon MDM name. Once again, once it is loaded, we will go to the Apple Business Manager, go to Settings, click on the Verizon MDM, download the server token, Once it is downloaded, we'll go back to the Verizon MDM, choose a file, upload the file we just downloaded. Once again, the server token will now change dates to be one month from now for the new expiration date. Finally, we must do the Apple push certificate. First, we'll go to manage, go under Apple and go to Apple push certificate. We will download the CSR and then click on the hyperlink that says identity.apple.com slash push cert. Here, if you do not see this screen and it says for you to create one, first you must reach out to your SIG rep and ask them for their Apple Business Manager logins that you helped create for your Apple Business Manager and they will assist you on creating the push certificate with you and transfer the information over to you so you yourself can update the certificate the next time it needs to be renewed. If you do see a renew screen, here we will download and renew our ABM push certificate. By clicking renew, we will choose a file that we just downloaded from the Verizon MDM and then upload. We will then download the push certificate. We will go back to the Verizon MDM. We will choose the file and then upload that new push certificate. It now says that this push certificate will expire one year from now. With Android, there is a, an account that must be checked on. If you do not have Android devices, but need to add Android devices, first, we must go to Manage, then Google Play Settings. If you see this screen that says Enrollment is Successful, you already have an EMM account, and your devices are ready to be deployed with the Verizon MDM. If you do not see this enrollment successful screen and need to create an EMM account, you would create the EMM account in a box that says create account. Then we'll go to Google and create a Google sign in by going to Google sign in, create an account, 
to manage my business. We will then fill out all the information within this screen. We will do the one time password and then fill out the rest of the information that it prompts you for. As soon as you're done, you'll connect the Verizon MDM to your Google EMM account you just made, and you should see an enrollment successful screen like this.